So I'm going to talk to you today about something that I discovered. I feel like I'm walking around with like a secret. It's probably not a secret, but to me, it's been a secret. Like I, I discovered something that was just so magical and so wonderful, it transformed my life. It changed everything about me. It changed my direction, and it changed the way I think and the way I live. I'm talking about the power of community and the power of people. What happens when people come together with a common vision and tackle the world with empathy and compassion? Me. Um, so I am founding CEO of Hacker Lab, and Hacker Lab is a community space we focus on innovation and education. I am a mom of six. I've been an entrepreneur for about 25 years. The reason I'm an entrepreneur is because I'm a mom of six. <laughs> I like sold like everything and anything just to feed my kids. And I've had so many businesses, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, I, I, yeah, I even had like a one-day cleaning service to pay my rent. Uh, so I've done all kinds of different things. I've had m different levels of success. And when I say success, I mean different levels of, yes, I've made money, sometimes I didn't make money, I've had the big car, the big houses, all of the things that people think about when they say they're successful. But I, reached, I always reached a certain limit. I always hit a ceiling, and I couldn't figure out why. I always felt like I wasn't successful enough. I felt unfulfilled. And I could never, ever, ever figure out why until now. So I've been in technology for about 17 of that 25 years. And I had a stint in the Bay Area. And while I was in the Bay Area, I got involved in the startup culture and scene. And I opened a communal space in Berkeley. And when I relocated back to Sacramento, I wanted to bring some of that that I learned to Sacramento. The kicker was I didn't have any money. And so I put it out on Craigslist and said, look, I'm coming from the Bay Area. I want to start this place. Hackers, founders, startup enthusiasts, let's, let's get together. Let's share a space. And let's, care, let's cohabitate together. So two days later, I met my first co-founder off of Craigslist and over a cup of coffee. Within five minutes, he shook my hand and said, let's do this. I've been wanting to do this for years. I found your ad. Let's go. So within 30 days of me moving back to Sacramento, Hacker Lab was born. So now we have the space, and we had to get to work. So we decided to start this meetup group, right? And we started this meetup group, and if you're not familiar with meetup, what meetup is, meetup is an online platform that allows people to get together to share ideas and common interests. So we had this first meetup, and like 30 people showed up. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my god, there's like 30 people here. But what I realized very quickly was is that the community in Sacramento was very different from the community that I came from in Silicon Valley in the San Francisco area. Where I came from, everybody was like a coder. They did software development, and they built mobile web, uh, mobile applications. And here, people were talking about things that I didn't even know anything about oscilloscopes and soldering irons and LEDs and robotics and drones. I'm like, what is a drone? And I quickly realized that this space was going to become a reflection of them, that this space was going to become what they wanted it to be. So that night, we talked about it. We dreamed big. We shared ideas. People became friends. It was so exciting. And one meetup turned into another meetup, into another meetup. And before you knew it, we had outgrown our space. We had a 750 square foot space. Half of that was a classroom of 350 square feet. Every time we had a meetup, people were literally like sitting on desks. They were standing in doorways. They were literally going down the stairs just to be a part of this very fast growing community. It was crazy. We ended up deciding we were going to throw this like big regional event, not just to embrace our community that we built within Hacker Lab, but the community around us the innovative and creative community around Sacramento region. So we had a hackathon. 100 people showed up. The press came. It was absolutely amazing. I'm like, oh my god, this is crazy. And our co-founders were like, oh my god, we have something. Our community is like, we have something. There's a need here. So we decided we were going to expand. Our lease was up. We are going to expand. Another kicker, we still don't have any money. We don't have any money, we don't have any resources, we have no business credit. 
but we still kept looking. We went looking for spaces. We were window shopping. We were taking tours without a dime in our pocket. And word got around. And one community member after another was like, I'm in, I'm in. I'll pay for a year. I'll rent an office. I have equipment. I have furniture. I can help. And our tours became like 20 people at a time. And collectively, we picked our space. And within six months, Hacker Lab went from 750 square feet to 10,500 square feet. I couldn't believe it. Here's a picture of our event, and here's a picture of Brian sitting on top of one of our offices. And he actually took a sledgehammer to the bathroom. Uh, we tried to stop him, but you know, he was having too much fun. But we did that together. We built that space together, we funded that space together, we had a mission together. And over the last four and a half years, that space, our organization, has, be has come together to solve problems, has come together as a community, and we've made it happen as one. There's us, grand opening article. Um, we were in the business, the front page of the business section of Sacramento Bay. We were so excited. It was absolutely amazing. So we got into our space, and once we got into our space, we rolled up our sleeves, and we're like, we need to solve problems. We need to help our community, because when we had started in Sacramento, that our community had not been represented. Innovation was new. It wasn't like Silicon Valley. It wasn't like San Francisco. So we rolled up our sleeves to solve problems so we could cultivate our community. So we focused on education. We focused on community awareness. And we did those things together, collectively. People started teaching classes, one by one, in coding and welding and woodworking, sewing, you name it, robotics, electronics. And so we solved the problem of education. We didn't solve it, but we're helping to solve that problem. Today, Hacker Lab hosts 30 to 50 classes a month, serving 6,000 people a year. Our community has grown from a mere two people to over 3,000. We have about 500 members in our spaces, and our volunteers are about 75. Our, those 75 people for the last four and a half years have dedicated themselves to changing the world around them, to making a difference, to utilizing their superhero powers, their skills, to have an effective change on what's going on in their world around them. Together, we've done this collectively, and we've made an impact. So the reason I'm showing you all these logos is because by osmosis, by assimilation, by working together, we've not only changed the landscape of our region and our city, we've helped organizations, government, and academic institutions innovate and grow. We helped Vision Service Plan, which is the world's largest insurance company, open our region's first corporate innovation lab. We've gone into rural Tuolumne County and helped them open an innovation lab. We went to Northrop Grumman. They're making the Hubble, the next Hubble, and we helped them open a space. We do product development for Intel. We're consulting with Toyota, and we're partnered with local cities. We even sit on congressional panels and talk about STEM and how we can help education. So one of our greatest accomplishments is our partnership with Sierra College. When we first started, we went to tackle on education, as I said. And we've been focused on education for the last four and a half years. Together, we are the first hacker and makerspace to have a public-private partnership with a community college in the nation. And within one year, we've had dozens of startups happen. We have teachers who are innovating and thinking outside the box on how to change education. We have students who are now teaching classes and also becoming entrepreneurs. Hacker Lab is in the center of the Rockland's new innovation district. Collectively, together, we have made this happen. So how about we change the face of education, right? So our work with Sierra College has led to our biggest accomplishment. And our biggest accomplishment is 
is because we've been doing all this fantastic work with community colleges, we caught the attention of the chancellor's office. And out of that became a $17 million grant. And that $17 million grant is going to change the way community colleges innovate over the next few years. And it's going to affect thousands of people. And that is because of the work that we've done at our space in Rockland. It's absolutely exciting. Community colleges across the state of California are going to have spaces like Hacker Lab. And they're going to be able to make, and they're going to be able to create, they're going to be able to innovate, and they're going to be able to work together as a community. And that, in itself, is going to transform education. So me, what, did I, what have I learned? It's not about me. It's so much bigger than me. That me needed to become a we. That this is the best thing that ever happened to me, is becoming a we. By leveraging other people's talents, by embracing other leaders, my community has helped lift me, and I, in return, have helped lift them. We. We are a community. We are a female entrepreneur who learned how to use the laser cutter to manufacture clothing so she could make her clothing line much faster and quicker and more efficient, and now she has a retail store. We are a dad who teaches kids STEM through a line of comic books. We are a cohort of nerds who care about our youth and teach disadvantaged youth STEM and technology in impoverished neighborhoods. We are an eight-year-old boy who developed an app at a hackathon and caught the attention of the White House and has been there twice. We are a community who works together to take on the problems in our world around us to make a difference. That's Code for Hood. That event was absolutely amazing. It transformed not only my life, but I could see the, the difference in these kids. At that event, we taught 140 kids how to do all things STEAM that we could possibly get our hands on. We taught them robotics, we taught them electronics, we taught them how to code, music production, video production, sewing, crafts, 140 kids, 90 kids presented on 16 teams. These are kids who had no, the only technology they knew was how to use their mobile app. And the things that they came up with was absolutely impressive, life-changing and transforming. And everybody that participated at the event was a volunteer and part of our community. We worked together, we used our talents and our skills to change the lives of these youth. You, how do you change the world? How do you make a difference? It's a big question. You become a we. If you look at large corporations, or when you look back in history, no man is an island. Every big thing has been done by a team. Even if there's someone on the front line, there are people behind them. It's so important to become a we. So my take on becoming a we is you embrace leaders. I surround myself with people who are much smarter than me. And I take pride in that. I look at them, and I just I admire them so much. You lift people. You elevate them. You embrace them. You share ideas. You have a common vision. And you go forward together. Here's pictures of my wonderful community doing great work. There are absolutely amazing people, and I have the privilege to work with them every day. And I have been so grateful because of them, my life is what it is today. Because of them, a region has been transformed. Because of them, thousands of people have been affected. As many, we are one. When we come together, we can do great things. Thank you. I'm Gina Lujan.